हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर ऑफ सर्विंग इन दिस वी विल टॉक अबाउट ट्रेवर्सिंग वी विल टॉक अबाउट लेटिट्यूड डिपार्चर बोडिज मैथड एंड ट्रांजिट मैथड एंड सेवरल अदर थिंग्स सो डू नॉट मिस दिस लेक्चर प्लीज वॉच इट कंप्लीटली एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक आउट द शॉर्ट नोट्स फॉर सर्विंग विच कवर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द फॉर्मुलाज सो यू कैन फाइंड दैट ड्राइव लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो so let's begin with this lecture so what is traversing traversing is nothing but if we do the survey in such a fashion like suppose if we go like this then if we go like this if we go like this so this is a closed traverse so what do we use for traversing we use chains and we use compass we can also use theodolites as well so if, if we use chains for linear measurements and compass for angular measurements and we go in such a fashion or suppose this is a very narrow road then for traversing you can also go like this so this will also be a traverse but this will be an open traverse and this is a closed traverse now what is the importance of this latitude departure what is actually latitude and departure see you will measure the length of this line it will be l1 you will measure the length of this line it will be l2 you will measure length l3 l4 l5 so these will be linear measurements now how will you measure the angular measurements there are two methods whole circle bearing methods and reduced bearing method suppose i do not use this reduced bearing or quadrantal bearing method i go for wcb method let us assume for a moment so for this l1 length this is north so this will be theta 1 for l2 this will be theta 2 for l3 this will be theta 3 for l4 this much angle will be theta 4 similarly for l5 this will be theta 5 so we have five lengths and we have five angles so there is a rule see what is latitude and what is departure for length l1 for l1 length if i ask you that for this particular part of the traverse what is latitude so at latitude is denoted by l so l1 will be l1 cos theta 1 this will be the latitude and what will be the departure for this it will be l1 sin theta 1 suppose this is the traverse so it will be broken into two components this is theta so this will be l cos theta and this will be l sin theta so this l sin theta 1 is called departure of this line and this l cos theta is called as latitude of this line similarly for this for this for this and for this you can calculate individual latitudes and individual departures now there is a rule for closed traverse now what does that rule say that rule says that sum of latitudes and departures is zero for a closed traverse now how is it this how is this possible now since somewhere theta is greater than 90 degree and somewhere theta is greater than 270 as well and greater than 180 degree as well so for some cases the cos theta will turn out to be negative similarly for some cases sin theta will turn out to be negative so combining all the cos thetas and sin thetas when we take the sum of latitudes and the individual sum of departures then that turns out to be zero if it doesn't turns out to be zero that means somewhere you are lacking that means either you have made the measurement wrong or there is some observational error like you would have taken long, wrong lengths or you would have taken wrong theta measurements so there can be possible cases that you would, you are lacking in length or you are either lacking in angles so this is the possible case now this is the rule that sum of latitude and departure is always zero in a closed traverse now second thing is that you are able to see a graph quadrantal graph here see the latitude is basically called as northing and the departure is called as easting this is called northing and departure is called as easting now see suppose this l cos theta is in north is lying in this uh, dimension part then northing and easting are always positive 
always north thing and if this is in this quadrant then it is in north and east that means the latitude will be positive as well as the departure will be positive but if the latitude lies in south region then this will be negative similarly if the departure lies in westing region then it will be negative a departure is positive if it is in east direction and the latitude is positive if it is in north direction now we'll ask when it will come in north direction so this is the closed traverse so there will be four quadrants this traverse will come come in all these quadrants in some quadrant it will be positive in, in some quadrant it will be negative you see this is a little typical thing to understand but slowly and uh, slowly and slowly you will understand everything related to this when we will talk about numericals when we further talk about many uh, detailed topics about this then you will understand each and everything in detail now see what is important in this suppose you are given with northing and easting of any certain point now if i ask you what will be the northing and easting of this point then how will you calculate the northing and easting of this point see this is suppose north and this is theta 1 and this is l1 now when you add n and l1 cos theta 1 then you will get n1 this is n1 and e1 Similarly, if you add L1 sin theta 1 to the easting of this, then you will get the easting of this point. Similar for southing. If this would have been south, see, this is always represented as northing. If it is negative, then it is called as negative northing. But individually, you can southing bhi keh sakte ho. But the northing can be negative as well as northing can be positive. So when you add L1 sin theta 1 to easting of any point then you will obtain the easting of another point so this is the key to several numerical questions you must remember this and this will help you in solving several numericals now what is the closing error i already told you the sum is always zero for latitudes for eastings see suppose there is a traverse and there are four lines l1 l2 l3 L4, the thetas are theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, theta 4. You calculate latitudes for this, so it will be L1 cos theta 1, it will be L2 cos theta 2, L3 cos theta 3, L4 cos theta 4. Similarly, you call, uh, calculate the departures, it will be L1 sin theta 1, L2 sin theta 2, L3 sin theta 3 and L4 sin theta 4. Now, what is the meaning of sum of latitudes? See, there can be a case that this is negative as well as this is negative. This is positive, this is positive. There can be any combinations and any permutations possible. So, how, what will it mean? L1 cos theta 1 plus L2 cos theta 2 plus L3 cos theta 3 plus L4 cos theta 4 will turn out to be 0 and you have to put these values along with the signs. Similarly, L1 sin theta 1 plus L2 sin theta 2 plus L3 sin theta 3 plus L4 sin theta 4 will also be equal to 0. So, if any of the length and theta are missing, you can apply both these equations of sigma L equals to 0 and sigma D equals to 0 and you can calculate the missing data whichever is missing. So, this is one important thing that, that will be helpful in solving the numericals. Now, there is a thing that is called as the closing error. What is closing error? If this sum does not turn out to be 0, I told you that there can be a chance that you calculated theta 3 wrong or there can be a chance you calculated L2 wrong, anything can be possible. So in such cases, you are asked to calculate the closing error. That means by how much amount this line is not getting closed, the theta as well as the length. So for that, you have to calculate the closing error. How to calculate the closing error? It is represented by E. You just have to square the sigma L. That means the sum of the latitudes, algebraic sum of the latitudes and algebraic sum of the departures. And you have to take the under root of this. Now, what will be the closing error in terms of angles? So, it will be equal to 10 theta is equal to sigma D divided by sigma L. So these are two again important formulas that will be useful in solving the numericals. 
सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वट इज द बेसिक ऑफ ट्रेवर्सिंग जब हम न्यूमेरिकल्स की बात करेंगे देन यू विल गेट एन इन डेप्थ नॉलेज ऑफ एवरीथिंग वी विल सॉल्व ईच एंड एवरी टॉपिक विद डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम गेट प्रीवियस ईयर एंड सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स एज वेल सो डू नॉट वरी ऑफ एनी थिंग नाउ देर आर टू मेथड्स बाय विच यू कैन करेक्ट द लेटिट्यूड एंड डिपार्चर सो दैट देयर इज जीरो क्लोजिंग एरर अगर आपने कोई ट्रेवर्स बनाया है आपने कोई ट्रेवर्स किया है और उसमें अगर देर इज सम क्लोजिंग एरर देन वॉट यू हैव टू डू टू एडजस्ट दिस क्लोजिंग एरर सो दैट यू कैन गेट अप्रोक्स एक्यूरेट कैलकुलेशन यू हैव टू चेंज द लेटिट्यूड ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी लाइन यू हैव टू चेंज द डिपार्चर ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी लाइन सो देर आर टू मेथड्स द फर्स्ट मेथड इज कॉल्ड बोडिच मेथड एंड द सेकेंड मेथड इज कॉल्ड ट्रांसिट मेथड we will study the transit method after studying bodich method first let us understand that what is bodich method and when this method is used when angles and lines are measured with same precision then we use bodich method but if we measure angles more precisely then we use transit method the reason will be clear when you understand the formulas since that involves angles more and this involves both equally so bodich method is used when we measure angle and lens with equal precision now what will be the correction to the lens the correction will be l1 divided by sigma l times sigma latitude similarly correction to departures will be l1 divided by sigma l times sigma d what does this mean suppose i have a traverse triangular traverse say there are three lines l1 l2 and l3 and suppose there is an error that is coming out the sum of latitudes is not coming out to be zero the sum of latitudes suppose is coming out to be plus 0.40 and sum of departure is coming out to be plus 0.30 say say this is the uh, error that is coming you can calculate the closing error the closing error will be i guess 0.50 so how will you apply the correction to each and every line so for that the correction will be you have to take the length of particular line l1 and you have to add the lines l1 plus l2 plus l3 and you have to multiply it by 0.40 since it is plus 0.40 so we you will have to multiply it by a plus 0.40 and the correction will be negative you have to reduce this much so that dekho abhi this is coming out to be plus that means ye sum of latitudes is coming out to be greater than 0 so you will have to subtract this much from each length so that this does not comes out to be plus 0.40 it will come out to be zero then this is the correction that you have to apply to length 1 similarly to length 2 you will apply this much depending on the length similarly you will apply this much to l3 but remember that the sign should be opposite to the sign of sigma l this much you have to apply the correction so this is how you use bodich method similarly for uh, apply you have to apply uh, departure correction to every line for that again you have to multiply it by 0.30 and it will be a minus sign so this is how you apply bodich method now coming upon the second method see you will understand this again when we will discuss a numerical example of bodich method the next method that is used is the transit method and it is used when angles are measured with greater precision as compared to the lens now what does the transit rule says in this see in this what do you do this is the error let us denote it as sigma l dash okay see the latitude of the line earlier what was there in bodich rule we took l1 that was the length of a particular line but here we are taking capital l1 that means this is the latitude of line 1 that means l1 cos theta 1 and what is this this is sum of all the latitudes without taking into consideration the sign of that we are just taking the absolute sum of all the latitudes suppose first latitude is 50 second is minus 
थर्ड इज माइनस सिक्सटी वन एंड नेक्स्ट इज सिक्सटी सो वॉट विल बी एल वन एल वन विल बी फिफ्टी वॉट विल बी सिग्मा एल डैश सिग्मा एल डैश विल बी फिफ्टी प्लस फिफ्टी वन प्लस सिक्सटी वन प्लस सिक्सटी यू आर नॉट टेकिंग इन टू कंसिडरेशन द साइन दिस इज सिग्मा एल वॉट इज सिग्मा एल वॉट इज दिस दिस इज सिग्मा एल डैश सॉरी वॉट इज सिग्मा एल सिग्मा एल विल बी द एर दैट विल बी कैलकुलेटेड बाई टेकिंग इन टू कंसिडरेशन ऑफ द साइंस so this will be minus 1 and this will be minus 1 this will be minus 2 so this will be minus 2 and you have to apply a negative sign here as well since it is always opposite to the sign of this sigma l so this is how you apply a correction in transit method similarly for departures you have to do the departure of individual line the absolute sum of departures and you have to multiply it by the closing departure error Similarly, this will be the departure of individual line. This will be the absolute sum of the departure, and this will be calculated by taking into consideration each and every sign. So, this is all about Bowditch method and transit method. In fact, this is all about traversing. There is nothing else that is related to traversing. Now, we will solve few examples in the next video so that you can understand each and every point that I have taught you in this lecture. Thank you.